Hey everybody, Justin with VMP Performance. I just thought of something really important for our customers and Whipple's customers out there in the field. While this ECU is locked, there's no custom tuning available, uh, I think that's gonna be with us for a while, you can still data log the car and you can send the data logs to us if you think you're having an issue. So I just wanted to show you real quick how to do that with the Whipple Tomahawk device. Make sure you got the SD card installed. Unit boots up and you've got this menu. You go to Diagnostics, you go to Data Display. You've also got things in there like read codes. Codes tell you a lot. Um, sometimes it's good to reset the codes, drive the car and see which ones actually come back. But this is about data logging, so let's go here. Data Display. All right, so Whipple Data is going to be the best one. Capture enabled. All right, this is where I want you to really pay attention to the key presses. So you're gonna press enter here. You're gonna press enter again. It's gonna load the data. Okay, it's working, it's sampling. You gotta be really careful to like, especially if you're gonna do some aggressive driving. Um, the cable's pretty short on this. It's easy to kick the OBD2 port, especially if you've got a manual. So the best thing to do is either hang it over the steering wheel or put it in the pocket on the door. And it's capturing and recording. However, there's an important step at the end to save, which I'll cover in a second. I just wanna show you what you can read right here though. RPM, SAF is spark, and then knock sensor adder is the knock sensor. A positive value is adding timing with this data logger and this software and everything. There's also a lot of other stuff in here that's a lot more cryptic. If you guys wanna know what it all means, we could cover that in a separate video. Um, I do wanna show you some quick ones. You've got map, which right now it's just atmospheric because the car's off. ACT is at the air filters. MCT is in the intake. And of course the car's off and it's just soaking in its own heat right now. And then you've got PTECT, that's coolant temperature in Celsius. So you gotta do the conversion to get to Fahrenheit. I know it's kind of confusing because MCT is in Fahrenheit coolant temps in Celsius, but it's the way it is. I just made a dyno pole um, and I've got a log saved on my computer that I'm gonna show you. But the most important thing is that you hit star to stop the data log and then you hit star again to save the data log. 54 is your unique identifier. And then you can turn the car off. Do not turn the car off until you've pressed the star button, the escape button, twice. From there, you pull the SD card out, you put it in here, and I wanna show you what I'm gonna do on my laptop. So I've got my data log here. I've already renamed it to match my dyno run file. We're doing some E30 testing right now with the Stage 2 kit, so that's what it's named. This is a CSV file, which is a generic format for data. I'm gonna open that file, and I'm gonna make some quick edits. So, Whipple's data logger saves all these parameters in here. You want to delete rows one, two, three, and five. And now you've simply got headers, time versus parameter. Well, time and parameter and then data below it on the rows. And I use SCT Live Link to look at data logics because it's what I've used forever. There's a very simple way to rename time to time parentheses seconds and save it, keep it as a CSV. Now, SCT Live Link. It's a compatible file, it opens. Uh, SCT Live Link's got its own little nuances. I'm gonna show you real quick what I look at on a dyno run. Deselect all the parameters, just grab RPM, maximize, and now I've got a dyno pull here. I can see spark advance, I can correlate that with power, know if I'm making the power. Uh, I can see knock sensor activity, eventually got to a full six degrees. Um, I can see manifold charge temp. Okay, started at 112. When 
went up to 113, came back down a half a degree. It's pretty normal on like a 85, 90 degree day like we're having now, unless you do super cool down with ice and stuff. So that's a quick snapshot. If you're having someone else dyno your car and you want to correlate the number to the amount of horsepower you're making, definitely the tune has a huge effect on that. And that is how you can see in a data log if the car is making the power it should. So if you guys want a more in-depth explanation of all these parameters, um, we could do a video on that. Hit us up, let us know. Until next time, like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you later.